All right, a little context about myself. Um, I used to have really bad acne four years ago, and I posted a video about my skincare routine because I use tretinoin. Um, I was prescribed this by the dermatologist, and I just wanted to come back and give an updated skincare routine of my holy grails when I'm on tretinoin because a lot of the times when you use active ingredients it might clash with tretinoin and it might make your acne worse or cause a reaction so these are the products that I use that work really well with tretinoin for my skin at least start off I always obviously is wash my face and for the morning time I use the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, a classic occult favorite. This is super light on the skin, so I feel like it's perfect for the morning, not too stripping. Actually, it's super hydrating, so every morning I start off with this cleanser. Also, I know some people who like don't use any cleanser in the morning, and I think there's like benefits for that too because you're not stripping away the natural oils from your skin but i don't know i do it because i feel like i do put products um when i go to sleep especially with tretinoin and i don't want those lingering products when i put my morning skincare routine on so i do wash my face with cleanser after I wash my face, I do I try not to pat my face cuz I don't want to be too abrasive on my skin and I immediately go in with a toner just to like prep my face to put its initial hydration in. This is my favorite toner. It's like the most moisturizing toner ever and as you can see I'm like done with it. I've gone through like maybe two of these and I love it so much I have an extra one. This is the Rovectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion and it's like this super thick toner. I don't know if you could you see how like viscous it is. My skin is super like dehydrated. I think that was one huge misconception I had when I was trying to treat my acne um, four years ago. I thought since my skin was so oily, I had to strip my skin from all its oils. But in reality, my skin was super dehydrated and it really helped to put back in moisture so the skin doesn't compensate with producing more oils and then obviously that causes more acne. So that's something I learned about my skin and I think this first step really helped. All right, so in the mornings, the next thing I always follow up with is a serum. I don't have like a certain serum that I always use. I just go for, again, more hydration. This one was what I just finished. It's the Dewy Tree AC Control Deep Green Calming Essence and it has Sika Mint in it. It worked well, it was nice and moisturizing. I love like Sika, which is an ingredient that really helped calm my skin down and really worked well for my skin. I picked this new serum up from Beauty of Chosun. It's the calming serum with green tea and panthenol. So far, so good. I tried it on for like three days and so it's just like an extra layer of moisturizer that I add. Another serum that I absolutely love is the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Reef. This has tamanu oil, sa safflower oil, rosehip oil, niacinamide, ceramides, um, and it's like a restorative serum that helps your skin barrier and I even used this when I got like bumps on my arms and literally the next day disappeared. So this is a great serum that I don't really use every single day but when I do get my occasional breakouts, I love using this. All right, next up, after my serum sets in, I go in with a moisturizer and 
This is my all-time favorite moisturizer. Like, I cannot go on with my days without this. Um, this is the Soonjung 2 Times Barrier Intensive Cream. I literally just get this off of Amazon because I can't find it anywhere else. But this is like one of the more thicker moisturizers, but that's what I really need. Again, my skin is super dehydrated, so most of the products that I use are super moisturizing. Literally, you know I love a product when I cut it up and like literally I like scoop all the insides out. Love this moisturizer. Um, it's a very like neutral moisturizer. Love her. All right, and now the last step that you cannot forget, the most important step of your morning skincare routine should be sunscreen. So I have a variety with me right now. I finished my Beauty of Jocelyn Matte Sunstick with Mugwort and Camellia. I finished her and I also tried to like literally scoop out the insides because this is so easy to use. You just like swipe it on your face and there's absolutely no white cast. It dries matte so you don't look like grease, like a grease ball. I loved it so much. I got a second one. So she is new. You literally just twist it up and love her. I just finished the Dr. Circle Sika Vision Vegan Sun. Um, and this product I also loved so much that I cut it in half and uh, scooped everything up. Um, this one, it has Centella Asiatica, another super great product that works really well with tretinoin for me. Um, it's super mild, also doesn't have white cast, and also it smells really good. It smells like a little herbally, but I really like this one. I also picked up another sunscreen just to try it out, and this is from Round Lab. It's in Korean, but it's the Tokdo sunscreen. Um, I've never tried this before, but I guess first impressions. A little squeezy tube. Okay, no white cast at all. It glides on really easily. It literally feels like a moisturizer, which I love in sunscreens. Um, that's how this Dr. Sirical one felt as well. I also would never be afraid to just go ham with sunscreen because especially with tretinoin, um, the ingredients of tretinoin, they start degrading um, because of the UV rays. So it's super important if you are a tretinoin user or any retinols to use sunscreen. All right, so I love her. She feels good, very lightweight. Um, I'm gonna keep using this. So that's it for my morning routine. My night routine, pretty much the same, but I do double cleanse at night, especially with all the grime, dirt, and buildup that gets on your face throughout the day. So what I first go in with is the Manyo Pure Cleansing Oil. This one is another empty, I finished her. And I'm on my second one, which is in another kind of like, Scent, I guess this is the herb green cleansing oil same ingredients it's just this one has like herbs in it I guess and it also smells a little medicinal which I low-key like um, but it works the same this really gets all the makeup and grime out of your skin the second product that I really love in terms of cleansing is this Abib Acne Foam Cleanser. Just a good regular, regular cleanser. I'm not sure if it really helped with acne, but it's a nice moisturizer. It doesn't feel too stripping um, on my skin, which I love that about her. 
and I feel like it just gets the job done. Foams up really well. You get the gist. And then again, I go in with my toner, and then I use my tretinoin. So with tretinoin, I use a dime size amount. I feel like every dermatologist says that, and I used to just like put that shit all over my face, but I feel like using too much tretinoin could um, make me flaky and dry up really quick because it's so strong. The dosage that I use is the 0 0.05, um, which is on the higher end, but I've been using this for the past four years, and again, it's really been helping with my skin. Um, and since I've been more consistent with it, I've been trying to use it maybe like four or five times a week rather than every single day. My skin is pretty dependent on tretinoin. Um, sometimes when I don't use it for like three, four days, my skin does start to like break out a little bit. So I've been trying to, you know, train my skin not to do that and try not to dry out my skin too much. Um, so tretinoin, my bestie boo. The reason why my skin, I believe, is as clear as it is now. And then after that, instead of serum, I just go straight into moisturizer again with Sunjung my fave and lastly for any spot treatments if i have like a big pimple here or there like i tend to get a lot of pimples near my eyebrow area or anywhere where like i do have like hair follicles because that's where most of your pores are um is the cosr x acne pimple master patch i've used so many others but literally i feel like this is the only one that really like sucks in the oils of your pimple uh, these are hydrocolloid patches and you just pop one stick one on unfortunately there's not too many on one bag um and it is like five dollars for this so the pimple patches i use when i do see the pimples like about to pop so there's the pimples like yellow you know, the hydrocolloid is able to kind of like suck that out. If I do have more like bumps, I love using this Cosrx Centella Blemish Cream. It's just like a white cream, but again, I love Centella. Kind of like I'm using a moisturizer, but more as a spot treatment. Sometimes I put it all over like my forehead, so I go to sleep with a white forehead, but at least I wake up and uh, I feel like my skin got a little bit clearer. So I feel like this really helps with calming my like inflammation. And my last spot treatment is this HD Clear Topical Blend from doTERRA. This is like a mixture of a bunch of oils and it smells really good. But I love putting this on to any inflamed pimples that I have. Some of the oils that it has is black cumin seed oil, tea tree oil, eucalyptus, yeah, and especially tea tree oil, I love. Alright, my last product, it doesn't really have to do with my skin, but I do include it in my nighttime routine. A big reason why I do have acne is because I have PCOS, which is a hormonal imbalance. Another symptom is hair loss, and I do notice that, unfortunately. Um, so one of my favorite hair serums that I use is the Whey Scalp Serum, and this helps with hair growth. I finished this one, so got another one. This claims to support thicker, fuller hair, and I low key do think I see that. I just go down my middle part or even on the sides in the back of my head and you don't need too much but one dropper full every night and then I kind of like massage it in so hopefully the more I use it the more hair I grow because I don't want to be balding but yeah that's pretty much it for my morning and night routine with tretinoin
it could be really hard trying to find the products that work well with your skin so a lot of the times skincare is trial and error but don't forget that when it does come with your skin um, it needs a longer time to adjust to the products to see if it really helps so be patient be consistent and hopefully this video helped with some ideas of products that you can use with tretinoin thanks for watching all right time to clean up all the freaking products i have okay but here's the one thing about my skin the amount of money i've used to try to get it to this but you know what it's worth it but manifesting skin clear vibes forever